So it's Wall, DLB, Daniel M. Bailey, Steve Cook, both out of the Olympia. Yeah. Can you believe that shit? The game is trust. So what's the story, Swole? These top athletes, man, two of the highest profile athletes in mm. the industry, Daniel M. Bailey pulling out of the, the Olympia women's physique, and then shortly after Steve Cook pulling out of the men's physique. What the hell is going on, man? It's crazy, man. You know, you, you expect these athletes to turn up uh, and you just expected them to compete and, and they pulled out. And I guess, from my personal opinion, man, I think yeah. it, it comes down, especially with DLB, it comes down to leveraging her time and, yeah. and thinking, you know, she's going to get paid prize money, which the prize money for the amount of effort they're putting in is a pittance, you know? Well, and I think there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of talk online at the moment, right, about why... Uh, why DLB's pulled out, why Steve Cook's pulled out, and a lot of people are saying, you know, they pulled out because they don't think they're going to win, right? Well, which is which, uh, which we that, think is complete bullshit. That's right? bullshit, man. It's bullshit. That's you're bullshit. talking about you're talking about champion athletes. You're talking about people at the at the top of the game in in the sport that have that champion's mindset. Yeah. They're not the, going to pull they, out. Exactly. Even man. if they honestly did believe that they weren't going to win, they still ain't going to pull exactly. out. Exactly. Did you ever hear Michael Jordan say he wasn't going to wasn't exactly. going to win? And that's they don't have that attitude of thinking you know they're going to come in and come second. That's it. They're going to win the show if that's they it. if they enter it. So but. we completely disagree with that, but. We have spoke about this a fair bit at, mm, to, have, at yeah. MassiveJobs.com yeah. and we got to have some of our own personal opinions on why mm. these athletes are now pulling out. And I yeah. think what we're going to see as well is DLB and Steve Cook will be the first of many. Yeah, I, I think I there's going to be yeah, many. Definitely. And there's a few reasons for it. And the, the sort of things that, that we have been talking about and the reasons why we think that these athletes are pulling out of the big shows at, at the Olympia is it comes down to investment. Exactly. Doesn't exactly. It? You know, you, if you look take, look at DLB, for example, she's got uh, whatever your work may be, yep. and also flag not fail, two, two massive companies that are pulling in huge revenue. Yeah. For her to leverage 16 weeks for a, for a comp prep, yeah. it, she could win $40,000 for that, for 16 weeks. Well, that's it. You know, the, is, the, is the, it prize, the prize money. Is it really yeah. worth it? You know, yeah. like she's got all this money coming in, she won't be able to focus as much on her, on her business ventures. Yeah. Um, and she could win forty thousand dollars. So it gets to the point where, you know, is it really worth it? Is it worth her time? And and it's not. And Steve is in exactly the same exactly boat, right? The same he doesn't boat. have his own companies, but he's got endorsement deals with a bunch of different companies. Exactly. Which would be pulling in a lot of revenue. Yeah. And I think what what happens with these athletes is they make a they make a financial decision. Mm. They say, This is how much time I have to invest to get this result, yeah. and the result is competing in the Olympia and mm. then winning the Olympia and then the benefits that's gonna have. So there'll be benefits in terms of raising their profile, which let's be honest, people, people like DLB there. and Steve Cook don't need any no. more profile. Well, you have a look at, at last year. Steve yeah. come what, like fifth? Fifth. Did yeah. it help his profile well, at all? Dana Lynn came second. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't help, they don't need any more profile. So they, they effectively rule that out. Yeah. So then the only benefit really for winning is prize, is money. prize money. Yeah. And so and they go, okay, this is how much time I have to invest to achieve this outcome in terms of revenue, in mm. terms of prize money, if I was to take that exact amount of time and effort and invest it in my other business ventures or my other endorsements, I'm gonna make a hundred times. Exactly. You know, exactly. even and more. Yeah. In, in DLB's case, it, you know, it would be up towards multiple hundreds of times yeah. of the revenue that they're getting as competing as a, as a top athlete in these particular sports. Exactly, and I think that's the reason why you can't actually you know, you can't get down on these people for doing this because yeah. if you're in that position, you do exactly the same thing. Well, that's it. And this is, like you said, this is going to be the first of many people to actually pull out because, you know, they, the IFBB, they need to increase their prize money. Yeah. You know, if, if it wasn't for the endorsements, you know, all these athletes, which are top athletes in the world. Well, that's it. Well, they'd be broke, you know, if they well, didn't have those endorsements. What, what, are, what are the, you would know off the top of your head, what are the top Let's, so we've spoken about women's physique, DLB, we've spoken about men's physique. Yeah. What does, what does Mr. Olympia, if Phil so, Heath wins so this year, Phil or Hoop, Kai Green wins this year, yeah. what are they looking at? So if Phil with? Heath wins this year, yeah. he gets $600,000, which is yeah. pretty good. But yeah. if you compare that to you know, the, the men and female, there's $40,000. Yeah. Look at the discrepancy there. Yeah. You know, that's huge. If, say, Flex Lewis wins a 2 one yeah. I think he gets around seventy grand. Yeah. You know? That's an average wage, man. You yeah. know, if you look at the physique competitors, <laughs> you could go to McDonald's and flip burgers yeah. and get paid $40,000. Yeah. So that's where, you know, the IFBB, I think, has to come to the party with this. 
Well, if and you, increase the prize money. Because man, what's the point? Let's compare it to let's say let's say in let's say America. Yeah. Let's talk US. Let's compare it to one of the top NFL. Okay. Players. So let's have a what look. Are they, so, what are so, they getting paid? So Aaron Rodgers, right? He's yeah. getting paid twenty-five million a year. Yeah. You know, so if you break that down over sixteen games. Yeah. He gets paid more for two hours of football yeah. than what he does. These guys get paid for twelve or fourteen weeks of prep. So he's playing football. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why would he's he not making a financial decision and that's, to say, you know what, I'm not going to play football. I'm going to spend that time doing other things with my other endorsements. Exactly. Yeah. So the 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 decision, the basis for making that decision is completely skewed in the other well, that's, direction. That's the thing. That's only his salary. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's that's his prize money. You know, his salaries are on. Uh, sorry, his endorsements are on top of that. Yeah. So he could be pulling in fifty or sixty million a year, and you know that's the same as with you know guys like Tom Brady. You look yeah. at LeBron. Yeah. You know Kobe. You know they're pulling in. 60 70 million dollars a year yeah. with their endorsements and their, their salary is still 25 million now so really so really what what it comes down to what you're saying is for these athletes these these physique athletes you know your bodybuilders men's physique women's physique women's bikini all of these physique type athletes when you look at a percentage of their total income yeah the prize and money what, and what percentage that comes from actually competing in the sport yeah. that they compete in yeah it's too small to exactly. justify yeah and, and, and not and that not that everyone could pull out because, as you said, they uh, athletes still need to improve their profile. Yeah. But for the top guys who have already got that profile, yeah. what's the point of competing? Well, that's you know? exactly right. And I guess the other thing as well is a lot of these top athletes who do actually compete may even financially be looking at athletes who are who have massive profiles that don't compete. Mm, exactly. And we know that the fitness industry is, is rife with a, exactly. with a bunch of them. Yeah. They've never stepped on stage before and, and they have massive profiles yeah. doing, you know, earning massive income, massive revenue yeah. without actually competing at all. Without going and these, through the, yeah. these top athletes are going, what am I doing? Exactly. Why, you know, yeah. why am I wasting my time doing why this? Why would I waste 12 weeks dieting, putting my body through, through hell yeah. to get into shape when yeah. all these other people aren't doing it, yeah. and yet they're making just as much money yeah you know so i think that's what it comes down to and like i said before the the ifbb needs to increase the prize money to make it you know and in, give these these people an incentive to actually get up on stage and compete well i think that's what it comes down to because the, you know the ultimate losers in the end are the fans right exactly so all the yeah. dlb fans aren't going to see dana lynn no. compete this year no all of the steve cook fans aren't going to see steve cook compete this yep. year so the people that lose out in the end are the fans. Are the fans, exactly. So and what's, you, what's the solution? Well, you know, that's, if you look at you know the size of the, the bodybuilding industry that it is now yeah. and, and the sports supplement industry, this is yeah. a big industry with a lot of money flowing around. Multi-billion dollar. Exactly. So yeah. why, the, why couldn't, you know, say, for example, Phil Heath, why couldn't the prize money for that be, say, a million dollars? Yeah. You know, and why couldn't the, the, the 212, say, Flex Lewis, if he wins this year, why couldn't he get, say, $500,000? Yeah. And, you know, even the, the physique competitors, why couldn't they get $250,000? Yeah. And if $250,000 was on the line, mm. you'd sort of go, okay, I, I can, I'd want to win that. Well, as a percentage of their total revenue, it bumps it up, doesn't Exactly. It? So yeah. then, it, then it becomes, you know, more financially, the decision becomes more financially viable or financially justifiable exactly. yeah. for them to go through a 20-week prep, yeah. invest the time, invest the effort, invest the money in that prep, yeah. because they know at the end of it, the return, the return is exactly. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, even if they yeah. come second or third, you'd still be, you know, you could still be pocketing, you know, yeah. uh, what a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Yeah. You know, and even if you compare it to, you know, like tennis players, you know, yeah. you turn up to the Australian Open or the American Open, you get knocked out in the first round, you still get paid like thirty or forty thousand dollars just for showing up. That's it. So you know, why aren't there these sort of incentives for for athletes in in bodybuilding in the yeah. IFBB? You know, well, it's, it's not as if they haven't yeah. got the money. Well, you know, a lot of people say that it's not mainstream. You know, there's no, there's, well, no, there's no TV deals. There's no, it's not, it's not a mainstream sport. But I think you look at, you know, if you take bodybuilding in particular, yeah, I agree, it's not a mainstream sport. But then you look at the flow-on effect into the health and fitness exactly. industry. If it wasn't for bodybuilding, if it wasn't for Joe Weider, if it wasn't for these physique athletes, the health and fitness industry would would no would be nowhere near as big as it yeah, is now. Exactly. So it may exactly. not be the sport may not be mainstream, but everything that leads on from the sport is mainstream. Mm. And therefore, there needs to be a flow of income coming down from what is mainstream yeah. into what the mainstream owes. Well, it's 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 
heritage to. And if you if you actually increase that prize money, who's yeah. to say that bodybuilding couldn't become mainstream? Well, that's exactly. You know, right. if you've got people, you know, that are thinking, okay, I can compete in this, and you know, they may not have the genetics to do it, but you know, they they give it a good crack at actually winning that million dollars or, or whatever it might be. Yeah. You know, you could see an increase in increase in um, in competitors. Yeah. You know, so who's to say it can't get on on your ESPN or or your sporting channels or things like that if it was actually more prize money to win. Well, I think it's it's very quickly going to go one way or the other. It is, man. Because Big DLB time. and Steve Cook, I, I, I am 100% sure, will be the first of many athletes oh, yeah, yeah. to make this decision. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another thing that's happened this year is Amazon have picked up the rights to broadcast yeah. the Olympics. Lost it. Yep. So Amazon has uh, has picked that up. So that my you know there may, you go. So a bit of a maybe change that in the right direction. Exactly. But it's uh, it's all coming to a head. Yeah. And it's going to go it's one way or the other. Exactly, man. So it's going to be interesting to Real see quick. what happens over the next few years to see whether, like you said, more people just go, nah, I'm not doing this because. I can make more money doing something else. That's it? Yeah. You got anything else you want to add, man? Man, I reckon that's about it. I think that's it. That's the Gain Trust, baby. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of the Gains Trust and everything else in our YouTube channel where we're coming to and from Swole. Massivejoes.com. Stay.